It's going to be hard beating. Yeah, and Davy Fitz is here today watching the game too, and he's second one of his background team, Mike Curry, the ball won. And from St. Martin's point of view, they have Dahio Waters back. Kieran Lane coming out and taking it. Looks to be shaking off that groin injury, cutting inside the 50. Little slip, a lot of rain this week. Linger off his right hand side, and that's the opening score for Kieran Lane. Fine point, Billy. Yeah. Good score, come out to his man well, got it, and you know, turned to his right, off his right, and over the bar. Putting this one in, I had to race to the car to get the phone. That's why I'm out of breath. There's a lovely line ball in towards Paul Morris, has it in his left hand. Has he still got it? Has he room? Working his way. Well a hook coming in. He dis disclosed them down very quickly to St. Martin's defence. And, and uh, this one, careful placement of the slitter. Attacking the Clonard end. Johnny Dwyer, skillful. Great boxer as well. Underage. Lovely line cut. Has he found the awesome beauty? That's a beauty straight over the bar from Johnny Dwyer from 35 yards out. Super score. Well, it's a here. short one. A little bit of trouble here. Linger, oh, with the pass work. No, no, he didn't. He was trying to be too careful, Mikey Coleman. The defence got solid. That was a golden chance. Here's by Rory's it was amazing Kieran Ling didn't go himself, or didn't, Rory didn't go himself. He won't come up for him. In fact, it's Owen Murphy, who's done a quite bit of scoring. That's a nice one pass down on the ground. Ferns using the ball very well into midfield, and Ian Bourne now this time. Ian Bourne travelling with the slitter, heading in towards the 50. Little lovely little hand pass off, and... Uh, Maybe an opportunity for score here. They hand pass it back outside to Bitsy O'Connor. Bitsy O'Connor off his left. Yes, a good score. Well worked score up the field from Ferns. Real good teamwork involved. Dodgy at times maybe the passes, but the passes stuck Billy and it's a really fine point. And after Joe Coleman couldn't the other one over here wonder at uh, Jack yeah. Warner this but he's very good on the, on the line ball as well. Yeah. Joe Coleman left or right. Jack Lovely right line right. ball from Jack O'Connor. That's where the really corner goes. That's, that's an excellent line ball taking today Billy. Inside the field, yeah. lovely fetch out here. Rory O'Connor inside the 50, oh, taps it inside the Kierling. A little bit too far. Goalkeeper had to come out. Kierling has a chance, an empty goal. The defender's back. Will he go for a goal? Of course, he's going for a goal. Stop. And a brilliant stop coming in, but he still has it back. Chance over, oh, another brilliant save to the fullback this time, John Breen. Well, St. Martins could have had two goals, but you'd have to re reward the defence of Ferns, who were outstanding. The, the after, I think there's four goal chances this, and you know, Ferns, but they wouldn't want to give them too many of them, because eventually the Martins will break the line. Yeah, the ball over on the far side of the field. Tomas Codd down there on the sideline. Joe Coleman, Martins, long Joe one. Coleman with a long good one. Score. Good score. Look at the curl in. Yeah, it's good. Long one from Joe Coleman. That's his third point today. And this one, James Tonks. Very experienced player, James. Sending it in. Landing on the 20, uh, off Johnny Dwyer, We've got a heavy tussle but it was a fair challenge. And St. Martin's, a lot of players slipping around the place which is disappointing to see back out. Probably one to, uh, oh, that's a good score, he turned and Dwyer, swiveled John. around Johnny Dwyer yeah. and uh, from just outside the 14 hill over, lovely the third point for Ferns to put two between them with 18 minutes played. A long puck from Willie Deverick. Jack O'Connor on the edge of the square. O'Connor in there. Where's it gone? Oh, it's in the net. Brilliant running in on it, Jake, Jake Furman. Furman yeah. Kind of a volley, a half volley came off Jack O'Connor's hand, and Jake Furman pulled first time just from outside the small parallelogram and whipped it into the net. So that's really shaking it up now as nine minutes to go to half time. It's a very well taken goal, Billy. Kept his yeah, eye on the ball and finished it on the half volley. Yeah, the direct route, to be honest with you, you know, and he finished it very well. Jack O'Connor was causing problems in there, a chance here now for. Great ball across the field, Harori could be in trouble here. Yeah. Travelling inside off, he's empty, surely won't miss this one, he does miss this one. So a goal to point, a quick succession for St. Martin, who I have to say look a little bit hungrier today than they have in previous games. Billy. Yeah, and five, five of the forwards have scored so far in this game. Our director, and that's Benny's second yeah. wide in open close Guy range. Waters, you know. injured, missed the in trouble again here football now semi-final. In trouble again here now, Ferns back out to Joe Coleman. That Joe Coleman right. that one, oh, he had a little bit too much time, a little bit too much space, and fourth point for the big man from St. Martin's. And that one is a short one down towards the line. Touched away, took too much time to control it. Connor Scallon gets it back, however, with tenacity. And that's a loose one again, Ferns, the uh, executors of their own misfortune at the moment. Joe Coleman with a little bit too much Great time for I like it. And uh, that one is curled in. But Joe had way too much room hitting that, striking that Billy right on the touchline here. Again, you know, it's a bad, Side bad you know, and we tried to play the possession game again and, you know, Ferns had possession, give it straight back to the Martins and again, no better man today, you can see yourself, you know, for the finish off that. I think that's his fifth point today so far. 
influx of other young lads to come in as well. So the future looks right. They have a great setup up there and they deserve it. The ball touched down inside. And that's an easy one for James Tonks. He won't miss that because he has too much experience, James. Now in his 30s, 1-8 to 6 points. That's a little bit better than needed to get a couple of points yeah. as we enter the last minute of normal time yeah. to Mikey Coleman earlier. The half the ball down to Kieran Ling. So the runner, the runner through the middle of the car. He should be picking uh, him up, really. Uh, Harry O'Connor, yes. Harry O'Connor, point for him. Yeah, that just that running through the middle is catching. Yeah, turns out a little bit. Catching the right, you know, and that's... Right, we're back for the second half. Another point for Shane Martins, is it? It is indeed, yeah. Jake Fairman. Jake Fairman. Slight bit of complacency with Shane Martins this year when they're in fronting games. Ryan Waters back there catches it. A great score if it goes oh, over. A good score. Great score. That's a serious score, Billy. And hung in the ball, for, hung in the air for so long, didn't it? And I didn't see what happened, uh, Tommy Dwyer. Well, I saw he's, Tommy Dwyer's, yeah. yeah. He's having a word with Joe Kelly, but Ferns working hard, Ian Byrne. Lovely ball across to the far side, well read. Need to get a score Connor out of it. Scallon. And it is a good score out of it from Connor young Scallon. Connor Scallon. Yeah. It's a little bit better from Ferns, one, 12 to six points. Great Lovely pitch. fetch out of the air from a much underrated player, Mikey Coleman, cutting in from the left. Pass inside, touch there, and where's the slitter? One back, there's a St. Martin's run, went down, but it's one back by Gavin Bailey. Set. Peter Got a young fellow. The first time Morris has been on the ball. The first time he's really been on the ball, Paul Morris, he's been well policed. Yeah. But it's enough it's because gone. he has the strength in his wrist, Billy. Really. Least little bit of room to flick that over the bar. Well, it's the first bit of room he's got today, and, and you know, he, that's what I'd say if he's 15 minutes, to, you know, to come in, come into this game, and if he comes into it, he could turn it very easily. But broke away well, a good score off, off his left hand side. Maybe a chance here for Ferns to get something out of this young Connor Scannon knocking it over into the corner, but that's a hungry and mean defence yeah, that St. Martin's out. having. It's very hard to get anything off them down there. Ian Byrne fighting hard for the ball, you know, it's back out. Booted out using his football skills to get it out to uh, Johnny Dwyer. Johnny Dwyer locked down, got it back at the second attempt, cutting in from the left. Johnny still going. Is he able to get enough room? Runs into an awful lot of traffic. He was fouled. But he did well, Johnny Dwyer, to cut in around the corner when he picked it up. Billy. Take the burn is another young lad that has injury problems. Young Scallon did well today, Billy. Yeah, he's, uh, he's carrying a bit of a calf. Yeah, yeah no problem, Ian Byrne. Byrne, putting it over the 12th point. Still five points between them. Uh, Billy. Yeah, but it's amazing what a goal to do at the right time. And they are in fairness of fairness, they are pressing to be higher up the field now at this stage and they need it. Nine minutes remaining, so go for broke. Furman. Right, come on, Patrick O'Hagan's getting ready to come on for Ferns, but Ferns need something. Need a miracle now, Billy, to be honest, Kieran Ling. Uh, coming out to midfield to take the ball, leaving it off to his cornerback, Connor Furman, knocking in inside Joe, having a go at the post, Joe Coleman. Nice and that's a good one from Joe. First point from play, I think, today, Jerry. Benny with the line ball, swinging it across to the far side. Running oh, through the in bar, a little bit of space at last for yeah. in Running at the St. Martin's defence, nice ball inside. A chance here for Chris, Chris Turner, Turner, perhaps, maybe. Chris Turner going for goal. Oh, yeah. nice goal. Went across the body of Luke White. A softy goal in the end, but it's probably too late, Billy. 112 to 115, three points in with two minutes of normal time remaining. It's only a goal, even you've got Chris Turner and Ferris, and you know what he had to do. That's why he's brought in there for us. The first time the ball's actually gone in there, one again, one, and he run it well. He had hit, to right, hit it low, man. didn't he? Hit it low and finished it very well. And that only puts a goal in the lead. You know, there's about four minutes, five minutes to play altogether. There will be at least four minutes of additional time. Four minutes. Ian Byrne has nailed it. Ian Byrne has nailed it. So now there's just two points between the sides. We've uh, eight seconds to the end of the hour, and then we've four minutes of additional time, Billy. So yeah, are we going to have a grandstand finish here? We are. Martin's, 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 Martin's Willie Derricks has been their man of the match at the back, doing really well up the line here, out towards uh, Harry O'Connor. Harry O'Connor back to uh, 
Michael Todd. Michael Todd over to the far side to slip on the ground and chance here for Dottie Waters. Dottie Waters going from a long way out. Hit it very well, hit it very well. It's going to hang. Oh, it's off the post. Off the post. The danger is not gone yet, though. Chance here. Oh, it's a brilliant goal. Darren Todd. Seal the match. Darren Todd definitely seals the match. Bad mistake from Ferns when they got right back into a 215 to 114. But